No Clay Thompson tonight as the Celtics take on the Warriors. And this game was a huge reminder that the Boston Celtics are still here. They've been struggling, they haven't been playing very well, but this is what they're capable of doing. They come out and blow out the Warriors on their home court. And it wasn't too long ago when there was an anonymous Warriors player that said that Gordon Hayward was a liability on defense and on offense. So tonight off the bench, he explodes. He scored 30 points and he made four threes. So what if this is the game that just gets the Celtics back to the way that they're supposed to be playing? What if this wakes them up and now all of a sudden going into the playoffs, they're ready to go. This is going to be crazy. Steph Curry knocks down the three, but the Warriors are still down double digits in the first half. Nice ball movement as Jalen Brown throws it down. The Celtics are playing hard. They really want this game. Hayward, another splash. They're getting all the 50-50 balls. They're playing great defense. And look at this miscommunication. Jason Tatum left wide open for a slam. Warriors look confused tonight. They were just not ready to play. Now Hayward steals it. And in transition, he throws down the slam. What if he has his confidence back? What if this woke him up? This is going to be scary. Now he knocks down a three in the corner. Look at that scoreboard as he splashes it home. The Celtics bench, they're loving what they're seeing. Another steal, and then Hayward's going to dunk it again. Oh, my goodness, Celtics fans, you got to feel good after watching this one. And even in garbage time, the Celtics, they're sending a message as they throw down the lob. What a blowout victory. Back-to-back -back green release. Three in a row, green release. I'm never missing again. Let's go. Oh, how do I miss the money? Flash rack. Oh, sit down. I can't see. Oh, look at that cheese. I can't see the release. He stood up to block the release. Wow, the CPU is cheesing.